used to believe we were burning on the edge of something beautiful, something beautiful, selling a dream. Hello everybody, today I'm going to do the red lip look. So first of all, taking the Clinique cleansing balm to cleanse and get my face ready and taking all the dirt off which I might have on previously. Then for the moisturiser I'm taking the Amy Amy Naturally Kind um, Morning Dew Matte Finisher Moisturiser which controls oiliness so I thought I'd apply this in the T-zone where I'm prone to the most oiliness of my skin and yeah it just helps to control the oiliness from shine as well as hydrating and softening your skin. Then for foundation, taking the number 7 Intelligent Colour and this actually um, is cleverly formulated to adapt uh, to your skin tone so although it looks quite dark when I apply it on now um, it changes to the pigmentation of my skin so it blends really nicely I suppose it's like perfect for those who don't really know what skin type, well what shade they are um, I do kind of know what shade I am but this is my favourite foundation so and then taking for concealer the Wake Me Up um, by Rimmel and it's in the shade 010 Ivory and just controlling the darkness or black circles in the eyes and then obviously controlling the blemishes. And just taking this Real Technique brush, um, this is probably not the correct brush to use but it works perfectly for me so I'm not really bothered <laughs> um, I just blend it in and yeah then for bronzer or contour but I just thought I'd bronze because it's a perfect bronzer um, taking the Milani which is in the shade 5 Sally or something like that and just kind of creating a, a mini contour I'm not going to go too sharp on the contour because the main focus is of course the red lip so just bronzing up my face a little bit, creating that, you know, grey shade. Uh, and then for the highlight, my favourite, the High Beam by Benefit. Just blotting a bit where it needs to go. And then, of course, blending it in with the brush. Because it is a liquid formula, you kind of do need a brush. Um, obviously, you'd use a fan brush for a powder, but I don't have a fan brush. So. And then for the eyes. I'm using the Primetime Bare Minerals just to get my eyes ready for the eyeshadows to prolong the time that the eyeshadow lasts. Then because of course I'm doing a smoky eye look, I'm going to use a sellotape to help me line that eye. And actually I'm not good at eyeliner so that um, the sellotape really helps line my eye for me. Then taking the Morphe palette 350 which are really nice warm autumn colours. I'm using this as a transition colour which helps to blend in all the other colours that I'm using. So to deep from the crease I am going in for a darker shade. I guess you could call this an autumnal colour up to the eye but we don't want to make too much of an effort with the eye because of course the main focus is the red lip. Then taking the D&G Dolce and Gabbana palette which is just a mini little palette which I got and this is just purely for the white pigmentation, well pigmented eyeshadow, really strongly pigmented and I recommend this so much if you want like a nice shimmery white. So just blending that in as you can see by the tear dip and elsewhere. Then to highlight under the brows I'm taking the Wake Me Up concealer again in the same shade. As you can see it highlights the brows really well. And the same for the other side. But always remember your eyebrows are sisters not twins. <laughs> then of course blending in all the colours just to make sure it's not too sharp. Oh I love this part, taking away that line. Ooh. Then for mascara taking the Kiko as always. I am very loyal to Kiko so keep that in mind. <laughs> and yeah just brushing through my lashes. It's amazing, it really catches each individual lash and it's a black mascara so just using the zigzag and all that kind of techniques to get the full lashes but of course I thought I'd go a bit more um, risky because I've never done this before I thought I'd go for the full side lashes so taking the Vegas Nay lashes um, these are perfect to be fair not too long not too short and they match really well as you'll be able to see with my eyelashes but 
this is my first time with applying eyelashes, so please bear that in mind. <laughs> It's not as hard as it looks to be fair, it's just obviously, you know, just trying to get that technique. In the end, I just squished my lashes together. It really worked. What? Just applied false eyelashes for the first time in my whole entire life, and I think it's gone well. Right. <laughs> oh, let me know in the comments what you think. <laughs> I'll just zoom you in. Ah. Then, of course, the main focus is the red lips. So, taking the Kiko, which I just got because every girl needs a red lipstick, and when I was shopping in Kiko to get all the other mascaras that I get, um, I just saw this on offer, so I thought, why not opt for a red lip? Ladies and gentlemen, is the finished red lip look. Oh my gosh. It was, honestly, I literally, I'm quite proud of myself because I've, I've never wore a red lip before, um, other than like Halloween or something. And I've never applied full side lashes before, so it's kind of, it was kind of nerve-wracking to get it right, but I think I've done okay. But I'm not gonna... I hope you enjoyed this look. Please give it a like if you did, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. This was my first official, official makeup look. I have done uh, makeup looks in the past, but like, not professional using products that are like... I don't know, I use quite good products, I think. Um, but it's obviously not professional, because I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I'm training to be one. At my college, beauty therapy, they've got makeup looks in there, so oh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye!